What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are the owners of Titan Medical Center. We are now looking for promotional models to come out to all these amazing events that we throw every single month, sometimes weekly. We have fashion shows, we have events at the gym, we throw shock clinics for B12. We have all different kinds of events that come out that we really, really are looking for the best of the best. We want somebody that can smile, somebody that has a great attitude, a great team player, somebody that we can rely on. And we have a really great team that we built over the years. So I'm excited about the team that we have, but we are ready to add on some fresh new faces. Do you guys feel the prerequisite of smiling, punctuality, reliability, and want to have a really, really good time and help people be healthier every single day? Well, that's what Type Medical Center does. So we want really, really good girls and guys to come out and be a part of our new Type Medical Center promotional team for 2023. Like Cherie said, we've got a ton of great events coming up and we really want to have great people support us and represent us at these events to make sure that we're spreading the great Titan word and getting out to everybody out there. Because everybody can benefit from looking better, feeling better, and performing their very best every single day. So don't you want to be a part of it? If you do. Absolutely. I mean, if you want a rewarding physician, just like us, we have a rewarding job every single day and feel good about it when you go home. Just call or text 727-389-3220 or you can visit us at www.tightmedicalcenter.com. If you want to send a resume and a headshot, just send it over to tightmedicalcenter at gmail.com. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. What's up, guys? John here from Titan, and today we're going to do a blood draw. We're going to do a blood draw on one of my favorite human beings here, Andreas Diepis. And uh, you might not get to see him that much because he's usually behind the camera. And I got art behind the camera right now so we can capture this awesome footage. Now, Andres is coming in here today to get his blood drawn so we can see a couple different things. One, we want to do a hemoglobin A1C. So we want to do a three month average on our sugars and see where they're at because he has type two diabetes and we want to fix that. And there are ways to fix that, right? But we have to look at some other things too. We want to make sure his kidneys are all right, his liver is okay. We want to make sure his prostate's good. You know, cholesterol could be a factor here too as well. Plus we want to look at all the hormones, his testosterone, his progesterone, his estrogen right it's growth hormone levels b12 levels some of these things can be off which can be causing them some other issues in the future or right now so the whole point is is to know what's going on inside the body and the best way to do that is through blood work so we're going to pull his blood right now and see where these things are at so when we get these numbers back we can adjust some things or maybe make some changes or go after some of the things that are really holding him back from getting to where he wants to be and that's losing weight, right? Because he has high blood pressure too. And losing weight is gonna hopefully lower that blood pressure and make it more healthier. Plus type two diabetes. Usually if you lose weight, it's gonna be better for you too as well. So we're gonna look at all this good stuff and we're gonna actually gonna follow up on these videos because we're gonna give Andreas the full Titan experience. And what do I mean by that? We wanna make sure he's doing all the necessary things to be healthy. That's exercising a little bit, changing the nutrition plan, sleeping a little bit better, and getting some of these reference range numbers in the right place where they need to be. Optimized, healthy, normal, and that will make him feel better, look better, and perform better, I promise you. Fix what's going on inside, and the outside will reflect. So let's check out the blood draw real quick. It's getting done. It's very simple, very easy. You've heard him over here, and uh, we've got one of our awesome medical providers here pulling his blood. And you didn't hear him yell or scream, so you know it didn't have to hurt that bad, right? So it's virtually painless to do this. And some people are like, man, I don't really want to get my blood drawn because it's going to hurt or I don't really want to know what's going on because things might be really, really off. That's the worst things to look at, right? It's usually going to be virtually painless if you got a good phlebotomist, like a Titan Medical Center, or, right, you want to make sure that these things are right. And if there is something wrong, you're catching them at early stages. So you can fix those problems without them creating into big, gigantic problems that could be very, very bad for you in the future. So we're going to follow up on this video. Blood work's done. How are you feeling, Andreas? Great, great, great. Feeling awesome great. and ready to start. Ready to start. So we're going to get him healthy and you guys can watch the progress. So follow along our videos and stay tuned for the next one. Hello, guys. John here from Titan Medical Center. And today I want to touch on some serious strong points about what Titan Medical Center does 
better than anybody else out there. So let's get into it. So Titan Medical Center has been around for over a decade. Yes, me, Sharice, and the Titan Medical Center medical staff have been doing this for quite a long time. And we've pretty much got a good thing going here as far as we know what we're doing with our patients. We're going into different cutting edge therapies for our patients. We're following up with our patients. We're making sure our patients are happy and getting the results that they want with health as the number one priority. Okay, because without your health, you have nothing else. No results, no relationships, no job, no nothing. So we really got to focus on the health. Get you healthy. So you're feeling good from the inside out, right? And that will reflect. But Tight Medical Center really does care about your health. That is truly the number one thing that is on our minds with our patients. We go above and beyond for each one of our patients. We truly want to treat them like Tight Medical Center family. Tight Medical Center starts out with a patient. We want to make sure that we get all your medical history, your family history. We really go in depth in your medical consultation with the medical provider so they can give you a true and personalized regimen that's really going to help you get the results that you're looking for. Okay. After that, we want to make sure that we're following up with you every 28 days, making sure that those therapies are working the way they should be. You're feeling the way you should be good, hopefully, and getting results. And if not, we want to make sure you guys are expressing that to us. So we know that we need to change some things because one thing might work for somebody, but it might not work for you the exact same. So we got to make sure we get you dialed in, right? And we want to follow up with you, like I said, every 28 days. But if within those 28 days, there's an issue, or you have a complaint, or you want to give some positive feedback, you're more than welcome to call, text, email us, and we're going to get right back with you that same day and get you the answer that you're looking for or take the feedback, whether it be positive or negative. Now, we really don't get too much negative feedback, but if we do, we want to correct the problem if there is a problem so that you're happy as a patient here with Titan Medical Center because we want you to be around for a long time. We don't ever want somebody to feel like we're just throwing therapies at them or our providers are recommending everything to them or we're letting them pick their therapies because they might not know what these therapies truly do for themselves, right? So at that point, we want to make sure as a tight medical center patient, you guys are feeling good, looking good, and performing your very best every single day. So by that, you might get a text message every 28 days or a phone call or both. That's just for us to check up on you. Some people say, I don't need this or I don't need that, but we want to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to follow up with you. Now, when you get a text message, you might say, well, I get a ton of text messages from a ton of people. That's okay, but I can tell you one thing about a text message you're going to get from a type medical center. It's going to be from a person, a real live person. It's not going to be from some bot or some software that's just sending out multiple and mass text messages. That's not the trick here. The trick is to have a personalized response to you. That way, when you write something back, we can follow up with the answer that you're looking for or get on the phone with you and go over the things that you need to be covered. So these are just some of the different things that Titan Medical Center does to make sure you as the patient are happy and getting the results that you are looking for. I'll say it again and again, because that's where it really comes down to. It's a personalized experience, it's concierge medicine, and it's personalized to you you that's it nobody else so if you guys are looking for somebody that's going to really look after your health as a medical provider that's really going to be interested in what's going on with you and try to hit your goals whether it be health wise or fitness wise type medical center has your back so call or text today 727-389-3220 you guys want to check out all our different therapies go to typemedicalcenter.com and we also have all these therapies explained some of the medical staff and more content when you go to our YouTube page. So let's go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I promise you like all the cool content we have. I appreciate you guys, and even if you don't become a patient, we love you guys and we wanna make sure your health is number one. Thank you.
What's up guys, John here with another Titan myth busting segment just for you guys. You know, when I see certain things out there, or hear, hear certain things, it always brings me back to, you know, is this true, is this not true? Let me research this for my own sake, be educated about it and learn something, right? It's all about learning every single day. You should be learning something new every single day, right? So as I was driving home, I'm driving on the highway, I'm looking at everything, I'm a big advertising guy, so look at the billboards and everything that's around me. And I look to the right hand side and I see a billboard saying, did you know milk is more hydrating than water? Right? And you know, but just with that general statement, you might think, uh, no way, water is the most hydrating thing you could possibly take in your body. Pure water is what our body needs to function properly for our organs, our blood, all these good things, right? Even to stay alive, we need water. But I started researching it for my own sake to say, hey, listen, is this true or not true? And my findings, maybe to your surprise, found that milk is more hydrating than water or even sports drinks. It's really crazy when you start breaking down milk, all the nutrients, the calcium, all these different things that it has. Plus, did you know that milk is 90% water? That's crazy, right? And because some of these different things in it, like the carbohydrates and such, it actually stays in the stomach longer. It doesn't process as fast. That means you retain more of the fluid that's in your body. So that is why milk is more hydrating than water. There's a scientific fact behind it, right? Now, some of you guys out there might not tolerate milk very well. You might not like milk, and that's okay too. But the fact is that milk can be a nutritious drink and be very hydrating for you too as well. I personally like milk. Now, this was talked about in skim milk and whole milk. Anything else is out of bounds. No almond milk, none of these other things. So let's talk about real milk that you would get from a store, 2% skim milk. Some of these different things can help you guys hydrate even better and get you guys nutrients in your body that you need on a daily basis. And that's it guys. That is the Titan Mid Fussing segment from me to you. I hope you guys have learned something today. And don't worry, I'm going to be coming back at you guys with more tight myth busting segments and things that will hopefully blow your mind and teach you something at the same point. Thanks, guys. What's up, guys? John here from Titan. And today, I want to talk to you guys about Titan Complete. Titan Complete is one of our custom signature vitamin amino acid blend therapies that we offer exclusively for our Titan Medical Center patients. And I get the question a lot of times from patients or people that are inquiring to be patients about what's our overall best vitamin amino acid therapy that we offer? What's going to give us the best benefit that could take on a daily basis? Almost like a multivitamin, but injectable version. And I always go back to Titan Complete. Titan Complete has an array of different ingredients that are going to offer you guys a ton of different benefits. So we talk about some of these different things that it has in it, like MYC, methionine, inositol, and choline. It has B-complex, B12, the three branched chain amino acids, and the only branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, valine. It also has L-carnitine. This can help you out with a number of different things from energy, weight loss, boosting the metabolism, cellular health, hair, skin, nails, and a lot, lot more. So if you're looking for the best overall roundabout vitamin amino acid therapy that we offer, then Titan Complete is going to be your go-to. And you know what? There's no blood work needed for Titan Complete. All you guys got to do is call or text us at 727-389-3220. If you want to read up more about Titan Complete, go over to our awesome website, titanmedicalcenter.com and read up all about it. I'm John from Titan and I'll be bringing you guys brand new videos and content talking about all our therapies and different ways that we can help you guys live the Titan lifestyle today.
What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cubits Corner. That's right. Me and my little beautiful wife right here every week are coming at you guys and bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new exciting level. And uh, if you're not in a relationship, don't worry, because hopefully you'll get in one and you'll have all this information so you can pull it out and use it in a new relationship so it's a successful one. And you'll be doing at least your part to make it a successful one at that. So every week we come with some different topics. And, uh, you know, this last week was Thanksgiving and we had the family members over and stuff like that. So I think this topic was right along the lines of hitting home on me. And uh, I wanna get your guys' take on it and make sure you guys know how it was on you. So let's get into the topic. Yeah. So how do you think that your parents influenced your view on relationships today, right? So how do you think they affected your relationship today? Do you think they affected your relationships today? Because, you know, obviously we're a product of our environment in some circumstances or situations, sure. scenarios. Um, and this goes a long, long way. But there are people that, you know, they go against what their environment is all the way through and through. They, they recognize they want better. Um, they and want they to do, do it different, right? Yeah, they want to do it different, you know. There's some people that have a great environment that don't do so good either. So there's not some one way that's right or wrong, okay, at this point. But, you know, this is, this is so true, right? And for me, you know, the example set. Now, my growing up as a child was good in some sense and bad in other senses. Now, relationship-wise, I don't think that it was the best example out there. And please, Mom and Dad, don't kill me about this. <laughs> but I'm only speaking the truth, right? Um, you know, growing up, I had loving parents on both sides, right? I had a brother and the whole nine. So it was really, really good. We weren't financially strapped or anything like that. So, you know, God bless us. Um, but, you know the internal relationship of my parents. I, I don't think that it was the most healthy relationship. You know, obviously they were business partners, entrepreneurs and stuff like that. So you spend a lot of time inside and outside the house. But for them, you know, it was always like, you know, eruptions in World War Three. you know, where, you know, they're fighting with each other, they're cursing at each other. You know, when we did have, um, you know, holidays, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like all these things, like our house was center point to all the family members from both sides coming. And, you know, even in between there, the lines of the family members, there was conflict, you know, almost at every single holiday that I attended. You know, and yeah, there was, it's common for a lot of families. Do you, so it's common for families to have eruptions at, at all their holidays. I feel gatherings? like this is a very, it's actually, people don't speak about it, right? Because it's embarrassing sometimes. But I do feel like at a lot of, because I was in the same position. There were, you know, it was like all happy. And then towards the latter part of the day, there was something that was always brought up that, yes, caused an eruption in yeah, the day. Conflict, eruption, or, you know, maybe some things that, you know, didn't, People weren't over before they came to that visit, you know, mm -hmm. and then that's where it all had to get handled. Um, so I mean, you know, I've been I've been into a, in a lot of situations my whole life. So my thing was was, you know, I took the good traits from my parents, and I recognized the bad traits, and I recognized how I didn't want that for my family when I had a family. I didn't want my son or daughter, whoever it was at that point in time, to go through some of the different things that I went through when I was growing up because it didn't make me feel good in all ways, shapes, and forms. You know, when I used to go over other people's houses and I used to see the way that their parents used to interact with each other, it was a, a lot different, you know? And so, you know, it was normal for me to be growing up in that situation and it was normal to see all these things around me. But when I went to other places, you know, and I seen the way that they were interacting with each other, I felt like the odd man out. I felt like, man, like, why can't I have this? Why can't my parents get along? Or, you know, why, why can't they interact like this? Because that's not the environment that I'm going back to. So, you know, it was, it was you know, it was, it's, it's a learning experience all the way through and through. Whatever you do in life is always gonna shape you, mold you, and become who you are. But you can fight some of these different things and not make it happen for yourself in the future. So if you recognize the bad traits or the things that are going on or have went on in your past, you can utilize those things to hopefully, you know, you learn from your past and you don't commit those same bad mistakes in the future for you or your family. 
And uh, you're the example for your family, right? Whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, whatever it is, even the grandparents, right? Cousins, uncles, you guys are all family and you guys will mold the younger generations that are coming through your family. They will see what's going on with you and they will try to emulate yes. these things and they might not think that they wanna do it and they fall right into the root and the routine of what happened before with you or with somebody else that's in your family that they're watching and they're, they're using this as an example. Like they think this is okay. So Well, you know, it's normalcy for them, right? Yeah, it's normalcy. Exactly. Right, it's 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 a, it's normal for them, you know. And to be specific, you know, bringing up maybe old things that's happened before that's caused arguments, and that's kind of what it is, you know. Even when I met John, I told him the same thing, and we ironically had some very very similar upbringings where our parents would argue in front of us, and they would scream and yell, and there, I mean, I I wasn't there for his matches between his parents, but with my parents. It was World War Three as well, you know, and it wasn't just screaming and yelling. I mean, there was things being thrown, some food outside the door. I mean, I mean, what next level type of fighting? You know, right. there's one thing to have an argument. Right. And I'm sorry, mom, in advance. Um, and I'm sure my dad's watching me from above, so I'm sorry to him too. But you know, there's 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 just regular fighting, and then there's like next level right. fighting of you know just grabbing things, throwing things, breaking things. And you know, obviously you don't want to set that example, like John was saying, right. for the little ones because they are watching you. Right. They're watching everything you do. Right. So this goes for the same thing with the with the family gatherings, yeah. is that this is your time, and I hate to put it this way, but let's be realistic, and I'm always real with you guys. This is the time to, you know, if you did have a problem with somebody, let's just say a family member, this is the time to mend it, right? You're supposed to come together and mend it. Now, if let's just say somebody's at this place and you don't really care for that person, this would be the time to fake it. Yeah, right. you're gonna fake it because you want to get through the holiday and make everybody else happy. You know, these holidays like you know Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. It is supposed to be times of joy, right? right? Happiness, joy. Making memories. Making memories. Positive memories. Positive memories. Yeah. Not, you know, yelling across the table or argument across the table or bringing something up in front of, you know, other family members or whatever it might be. This is not the time for that, right? So when me and John met, one of the things we made a promise to each other is that we were never going to fight in front of our kids, mm -hmm. you know? We're never going to argue in front of Peter. You know, we don't want that for him because we don't want the hostile environment for him. Mm -hmm. We don't want him to have that same environment with his wife and his children growing up because he's going to do whatever is happening now, whether he wants to or not, he's going to it's going to gather and he's going to become that individual. And it's going to have to take him just like John did and myself to say, wait, hold on. There is this one portion of my life and one portion of what my parents did that I don't want to do. And then you have to you have to fix it, change it and change mm -hmm. that going forward so it changes for all the generations going forward. That's right. Cuz remember, it's not just your children, it's their children and their children's children and so forth, right? And we can't say that these generations are getting any easier to train. So, it, we, we might as well make it easy now and try to make it, you know, as, as, as positive as possible. All right, you set the right standard, you put the right example out so that they understand like, this is the way it should be done. Um, and then you talk to them about it too as well. I mean, you know, that's another thing. You know, you talk to your kids, you talk to your loved one about it, your partner, you know, maybe you've had these bad experiences in the past and you vocally tell them like, hey, listen, like I don't want this in our relationship, right? Right when you get into it. So if you guys aren't in a relationship, you know, you start talking about all these different things, uh, the do's, the don'ts, and, you know, things that are like, you know, deal breakers, you know, this could be something you bring up. If you're mm -hmm. already in a relationship, right? You're gonna have one or two situation scenarios. The first situation is, is that person agrees with you totally and everything's been good since the start. The second situation is you already fell into some of these bad things. Now, what are you gonna do to get out of it? That's when you really gotta talk to them. You gotta put an action plan into play, per se, right? I always have my action plans, plans right? Because <laughs> you know we can talk a good game and we can say we're sorry and all these good things, but what actions are you gonna do to make a change? Right. And actions really speak louder than words, right? You like that always, saying. Always, yeah. That, it's so I do true, say that right? very often. People can tell you, I love you. No, no, let me see your actions because your actions are going to show truly me. Tell don't me. tell me. Exactly. Show you, not tell me. So, you know, these are different things that you want to do. Now, you, you know, I would challenge you guys to really think about 
your past, right? And your childhood possibly. And, you know, if it was good, was it bad, I'm sorry, you know, but revisit that and, and really think about what you went through and think about has it affected the way that you get into relationships and how your relationship is today? And are there things that you might want to change because now you're realizing like, oh my God, like, I'm just like my dad or I'm just like my mom or just like this relationship. Like, this is not what I want to be with right. or this is not what I want to get into, right? So, I mean, you know, you should, you should really look at that because people do follow trends too. So when you get into the trend of, let's say, you know, people that have, have abusive parents or abusive dads, girls, they fall into the trend of going to abusive men because that's all they know. Well, they think that's that that's, that's they think that that's normal, right? right? So you saw that your mom was constantly screamed at, yelled at, maybe beaten or whatever it might have been. So then you get into a relationship, it's happening to you at this point. And instead right. of you saying, hold on, wait, this is, I'm not going to accept this you end up accepting it thinking that it's normal because you grew up like that. Right. So, and it's not okay, right? It's not okay. You, you want to be able to treat women with respect, right? And the same thing goes for a guy. Just because we're women doesn't mean that we're the ones that only get respect and that's how it goes. Respect is a two-way street. You need to respect him, he needs to respect you. That's how it's supposed to go. So sure. it's, 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 it's important. It's important yes. that you guys are implementing these things and you guys are recognizing it and that you guys are able to pick it out, point it, and then fix it mm -hmm. so that way you know you could be better the whole point right and we say this all the time right and i know john is, he knows what i'm gonna say right now but the whole point is that every generation is supposed to get better and you, we always tell peter he's like oh you know i did this better than you and i'm getting better at this and yada 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 you know the 13 year old teenage boy talk right so, you know, I'm like, listen, the whole point is for you to be better. Right. Like, I want you to be better than me. I want you to do more than I do. I want you to make more money than me. Yes. I want you to have a better education than I did. Yes. I want you to have things that I didn't have. I want you to be able to provide your kids with everything that maybe I couldn't provide you. It's, a, it's all supposed to be getting better and better and better. It's that's not right. supposed to degrade over the years. That's right. It's supposed to get better. Only that's better. right, and that's that's how it really should be. And you should want better for you. You should want better for your family, your kids, um, and the whole thing. I mean, for your partner especially. So, you know, really look at yourself. Look and evaluate your relationship. If there's things you guys want to change, then change them. And do it now. Don't say, "Oh, I'm gonna wait till next week," or "I'll see how it goes." Change it now, right? Have the communication with your partner. So, I hope you guys have liked this show. Um, and, you know, every week we're bringing you guys great tips and tricks to help you guys out. And, of course, if you guys are not feeling looking your best or feeling your best, <laughs> then Tight Medical Center is going to be able to help you guys out. So, if you guys want to call or text us, we can help you guys out feeling good, looking good, and performing your I best. I mean, listen, Sunday. if you guys are having the mood swings, right? I mean, come on. Maybe you need your hormones checked. Get older, checked. right? Or you're not maybe liking the way that you're looking, you know? In the you mirror, might need to get your weight. hormones checked. You get can some do blood loss, work. do all types of different things. <laughs> So, guys, make sure you guys are tuning in to us every week, 11 a.m. on ABC and DVR. And if you can't watch it live and if you can't do either one of those, go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, watch all these great episodes and a lot of other cool content that we got for you guys. We'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. I appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we're out. Thanks, guys.